Hello everybody, this is Xenocat823543, welcoming you back to Let's Play Xenoblade Chronicles. And in this episode I am switching the party up because we're about to do another quest chain back in Colony 9. Yeah, we're still not done there. If you can believe it or not. But, uh, these Colony 9 videos are taking forever. But we will finish it eventually. Don't worry. Or actually, I think this is going to be the third last video, probably. At least the third last video that's made, of qu made up of questing. There might be some videos of me just hunting you. No, probably not even. So we'll probably be facing the Telethia fairly soon. Don't worry. We're towards the tail end of the questing. There are, I think... In terms of quests, individual quests, not even quest chains, there are... I'm trying to think. Nine quests. Yeah, nine. Nine quests left. And the first of these is... with Emmy Leader. And this is the question that I will be taking on. <laughs> and we get some really pointless rewards, because this is something you could do much earlier in the game. Because it's just finding an NPC as usual with these early game quests. But Miller is just behind Gem Man's stall. It's really not a hard quest. You just have to go know your way around. And you find him, talk to him, that's it. And back to the military district we go. Not even worth changing to Sharla so I could get so I could focus on affinity. Oh, hi. And back to Emmy Leader. Yay. We get affinity with the area. Affinity with the party. And a reward. A pretty pointless reward, but a reward nonetheless. And before we start an, our second quest in this chain, here is the affinity chart. Ir the irritation link was something you can get m at the beginning of the game, but you can get the red link, Dissatisfaction, between Emmy Leader and Miller. I believe that's all we can get right now, yeah. Now, next to Emmy Leader quest. And it's killing enemies. Yay. <laughs> Bribing with food. And this is actually a decent reward. And now we get to go to Tefra Cave. Slightly more adventurous. This entire quest chain doesn't really take you very far, though, until the last one. So, to Tefra Cavern to hunt some wind vangs. Or wing vangs, as it says when you check the quest log. It's Actually, I'll show that off really quick, because it's just kind of weird. Like, why did they do that? See, it says wing vangs. These are wind vangs. And yet, when I attack them... Oh, I should have switched. I mean... 
Yeah, I'll switch party leaders now because... No, Ricky, there. But yeah, that's how easy it is to finish this quest. This quest chain should not take you much, very long at all. Now time to totally rearrange the party again. Now that we've killed the five wing vangs, or wind vangs, but they're still called wing vangs. We can return to Emmy Leader and just and advance this quest chain yet again. This is probably this is, I think the longest quest chain in Colony 9 actually. Because it is four quests long, not just three. At least what we can do of it right now is four quests. Most of the others have been two or three. This one contains four quests. So yeah. So we're about halfway done and about not even halfway through the video. Oh, hi. And yeah. And more, more better, slightly better rewards. And we get another affinity chart update. And I believe there's stuff to do before we get to this. We have improvements, patience and distrust. I believe there's a Kant's affinity link now. Is it? No, it might be after the third quest. Nope. There's that. There's the link. Highly reliable between Kant's and Raoul. Yeah, he's just a temporary, he's just temporarily there. But now that we have that affinity link, I think that's the only one, we can move on to the third quest. And you really can only accept, only fight, I mean not accept, you can only fight one of these two enemies, so. Don't even think about trying to take them both on. Once you kill one of them, the other one will no longer spawn. So, you can either head to the Spring of Grief or Vilia Lake, but personally I just like to go to the Spring of Grief because it requires fewer button presses. I am lazy. I'm late. I'm a completionist, but I'm a lazy completionist. I don't like to actually do a lot of stuff. This will be a breeze. I will give it my all, no matter the enemy. Wait, no. Didn't want to fight with this party. that wasted some time. I'm sorry, I'm picky about my party. Cannot 
and breakfast. yeah, we get that. We get basically nothing, nothing worthwhile at least. Actually, I should just leave this party. I am sorry, I can't focus now. Uh, it's too late at night. No, it's not late at night. It's just, it just looks like it's late at night because freaking daylight savings. Ugh, daylight savings time. Why do you make the sun set at 4.30? Or lack of daylight savings time. <sighs> I wanted actually bright evenings. That achievement. We have higher opinion there and impressed there. I believe there are affinity links to be gotten now before the final quest, but the achievement means we have five stars with Colony 9. We have finally flushed out our affinity with Colony 9. And that is really good. Like, you have no idea how happy I am about that. But, let's start talking to people and see... And see if they have affinity links. Cants will now give us the affinity link. Contempt, orange link. I believe Raul and Miller will link at some point. I'm just gonna... No, Cants wouldn't give another affinity link. So I shouldn't be talking to Cants. Emmy Leader doesn't have anything to say because Emmy Leader... She offers the quests. So really the only people I need to worry about talking to now are Raul and Miller, just to see if they form affinity with each other or, or change their affinity at all, except they think their affinities have already been changed. So just to see if they form affinity with each other, really. Yep, there. Affinity between Raul and Miller. High Regard, which is Yellow Affinity. So yeah, this is what this area is looking like now. Green Link. It's pretty nice. Only one bad Link. After the next quest, it will be much less pretty. Just as a warning. This next quest will cause this section of the affinity chart to become much less all happy and stuff. Don't worry, all these affinity links will be repaired at a much later point in the game by doing a final quest, but this quest damages them considerably. However, it is still worth doing. Because it's a quest, of course. And Emmy Leader is going to take the Lieutenant Colonel test. Yeah, Ron. Yay, Affinity. Vision. I mean, Leader will lose. And the alternate future, if we go and do something. Yeah, poison hurt it so. Now there are two routes to this quest. There's a simple one and a complicated one. The simple one gives you slightly worse air party of like affinity link slightly worse affinity links for temp temporarily. They both give you the same affinity outcome in the end. So don't worry about long-term affinity. But the first one gives you slight... But I will be doing the extra work because the other one gives you slightly less affinity in the long run. Oh, and I should hurry this up. So 
what you want to do now is head to Satoru Marsh. Very far out for this question. To the Sororal statues, I believe. And... We must talk to this Nopon merchant. To the Nopon merchant that we met here. Oh, this this dump city. Oh. And you have to have Bunny Ascent Wood, which I have. I think I wanted to use that for Colony 6. No, I used the one for Colony 6, so I had extras. I do feel bad about this, but this is the slightly better affinity option in the long term. Oh, and I was expecting to actually have to go do work for that. Don't worry, we're almost done. Now it's just a matter of turning the quest in and letting stuff happen. The Carbo Shield, by the way, is found just north of the main entrance of Colony 6. You'll be able to find it. Actually, why don't I show it quick? Show it off where it is, where exactly it is quickly. On the Colony 6 map, you can find it right about here in this area up here. I'm just running up here at night because I want to get this transition from 11 to 12 out of the way. To midnight, I mean, not to 12. So now, let's wait the 10 seconds that are left for it to become midnight, and then next time I turn it to night, I'll just set it to 4, and let it run over to 5. This damages your affinity with Emmy Leader, and Emmy Leader vanishes. I think Emmy Leader will vanish no matter what. However, her vanishing is not permanent, so I will not put her trades in the video description. And we get our rewards. And we have trust between Miller and Emmy Leader. Sympathy. This sympathy link is the only one that will change is the only link that will change. This will, the yellow sympathy link will be orange if you do the other one. Can'ts and Emmy Leader are hate, yeah. I believe we can't change any of the affinity links. If not, I will do that at the beginning of next episode because this video has gotten long. So next time on Let's Play Xenoblade Chronicles, we will continue to do stuff. We will keep questing in Colony 9. See you then.